want to snipe tower safely just like Lena? Bakala, because Malefic Gun just got a game-changing upgrade you won't believe. Hey guys, what's up? Today we're diving into the new Malefic Gun update and testing which heroes can abuse that juicy permanent attack range to freely hit towers and the base. That's right, Malefic Gun just got a massive update. Now it grants a permanent 15% additional basic attack range. Yep, you heard it. Permanent. No more relying on hitting an enemy with a skill to activate it. But wait, there's more. It now comes with a sweet 30% physical penetration, making it even more tempting for marksmen and physical damage dealers. So who can take full advantage of this? Let's find out with some in-game tests. First up, we've got Leslie. She can now safely hit towers without relying on her passive. Same goes for the base. She can easily poke it down from a distance. Next on the list is Mia. She can hit the tower, but it requires precise positioning. If I stand here, the tower can still target me. But over here, I'm in the sweet spot where I can attack safely without taking any hits. For the base, it's a breeze for Mia. No problem at all. Now for 1-1. One -one. Unfortunately, there's no way to safely hit the tower. She's already within its range before getting any shots off. Same story for the base. No free hits here. Moving on to Yi Sun Shin. He can't hit the tower, but it's a different story with the base. He's one of the marksmen who can land free hits on the base, but not on the tower. Next is Nathan. Honestly, you probably wouldn't want to build physical penetration on Nathan anyway. He can't hit the tower, but when it comes to the base, he's good to go. Now we've got Brody. He can safely hit both the tower and the base with no issues at all. Who needs minions, right? Then there's Moskov. His limited range makes it hard to hit the tower safely, but when it comes to the base, he's got it covered. Just imagine an enemy Moskov sneaking in a split push and attacking your base without needing minions. Scary, right? Next up is Claude. Unfortunately for him, his range is too short to safely hit either the tower or the base. No free hits this time. Now for Ixia. She's going to be a real problem with the Malefic Gun. Her long range allows her to easily hit both towers and the base, just like her bestie Leila. Carrie is up next. She can't hit the tower no matter how many spots we tried. And it's the same for the base. Fair enough, right? On to Popol and Koopa. He can't hit the tower with basic attacks, but when it comes to the base, it's a different deal. He no longer has to send Koopa to tap. He can attack from a safe range now. Next, we've got Hanabi. She can hit the tower, but it's all about finding the right spot. For the base, no issues here. She's got that covered. Now for Irital. She can hit both the tower and the base with her basic attacks, and yes, it works for her ultimate version as well. Clint is next. He no longer needs his passive to safely snipe towers. Just find a good spot and you're golden. Same goes for the base. Easy hits from a distance. Bruno already has great range, so as expected, he can safely hit both towers and the base without any issues. Moving on to Roger. He can hit the tower of the base in his human form, so no free hits for him. For Melissa, her range is just too short to hit the tower safely. It's close with the base, but it works. Barely. Then we've got Kimi. She can extend her range and easily hit both the tower and the base. But remember, the physical penetration from Malefic Gun is a wasted stat on her. Now for the revamp, Granger. He can't hit the tower, but when it comes to the base, he's good to go. Since Edit has a marksman form, we tested her as well. She can't hit the tower, but she can land safe hits on the base. Beatrix is next. We already know her sniper rifle and grenade launcher can hit both the tower and the base. As for the machine gun, not working in either test. And finally, Leila. This item is practically made for her. Her already long-range basic attack combined with the Malefic Gun stats and extra range makes her a tower sniping machine. Now let's move on to some other heroes who can benefit from the extended range. Alucard gains extra reach with his passive. Alice with his passive extends his basic attack range. Freya's ultimate boosts her range and makes her even more deadly. Natalia can extend her reach with her passive and Malefic Gun combo. These are all solid, but honestly, the 15% extended range might not make a huge impact for these heroes. Now, there are a few mages who can technically take advantage of this and hit towers from a safe distance. But honestly, are you really going to build Malefic Gun on a mage? I can do magic too! Probably not, right? Okay, maybe attack speed Chang'a could get away with it. She's an exception, right? 
But for the most part, this is definitely a marksman item. So what do you think? Does the new Malefic Gun deserve a spot in your build? Let me know in the comments which heroes you think benefits the most from this update. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.